<laughs> Alright, what is going on guys? I'm your host here on Speakable Gaming and today we're going to do an awesome mod review. This is going to be on the More Explosives mod. And as you can see, we got a really pretty building over there. And this is obviously the More Explosives mod. For those of you who don't know, we have all these beautiful awesome explosives all this beautiful stuff and we are going to be reviewing this mod today and we're also going to be having a lot of fun blowing up this huge building you can't even see most of it but i found this on like some on planet minecraft and i thought hey why don't we do my mod review or the more explosives mod on here and blow up this building so yeah so let's go ahead and get into this so really I don't really need to set out anything for this mod because they have done a really nice job of giving this in giving us a instruction booklet which basically tells you everything you need to know and that's what I'm holding in my hand right now so where can you find that instruction booklet you can just go right down here under the tools and right here you're gonna see your instruction booklet so if we go into our instruction booklet it says welcome butterball 911 to the more explosives mod guide it will cover crafting usage crafting usage tips and more you can use the previous and next button to nav navigate through the pages hit the close button and it will close so if we hit the close button it's obviously going to close and then to open it of course it's just like a normal book you're just going to right click so if we hit the next button um, these are all the things that come with the mod and it's going to show you how to craft them too so if you want to know how to craft anything you can just simply click on it it's going to show you how to craft it which is really cool and it's really really useful by the way so for example let's see we want to know how to craft a nuke so to craft a nuke we're going to need four tnt and these little rods but how do we craft those rods so let's go ahead and see how do we craft those rods so to craft those rods we are going to need um they can leave behind slime balls so we're going to need whatever this is and we're going to need all this obsidian to craft that and then we're going to need a piece of coal so yeah so basically you don't really need my mod review all you need is this book and you are basically set so um basically you can obviously get this book from creative you can't get it from i don't think you can get this book from uh survival or i don't think you can like craft this book so it's in creative obviously but yeah so basically and then it's going to show you how to craft all this stuff so if we skip through all of this and yeah there's a lot of stuff there's missiles there's landmines there's so much stuff that's basically it so basically it just shows you how to craft everything and how to use it and it gives you all these tips like for example on the bomb it says bombs can be thrown by right clicking them so it shows you how to use them it shows you what they do and it shows you how to craft them so basically you don't need my mod review <laughs> but anyways yeah but it's still going to be of course a mod review so let's go ahead and get right into this so let's go ahead and get into some of this fun stuff so let's go ahead and get into some of these smoke bombs and then later we'll get into the explosives and then we'll have fun blowing up this building so basically these are obviously smoke bombs and if you throw them they're well basically they're just like what they say if we're gonna throw them um, i mean obviously as you can see these are different colors so as you can see we have white blue green red yellow and black and then if we throw them of course it's obviously going to be a smoke bond and they kind of like bounce around and i think that's pretty cool and yes the yellow blue ones actually do produce these colors so, so they actually do produce a, a yellow color if you're wondering so yeah as you can see that's pretty cool and then the missiles here is the missiles here's what they do so if we can set one of these down and this is a missile and then to use it you're going to right click on click on it and then you're gonna hit the X and Z coordinates that you want the missile to go to or land at or whatever and then you're gonna hit launch and it's going to obviously launch it but I'm not gonna do that right now because you can do that for yourself and then here we have a bazooka and I haven't figured out how we load the bazooka yet. That's the only thing I haven't figured out. Let's go ahead and look in our very useful crafting table. Okay, so it can be right click to fire a block of TNT C4. Okay, so it can fire TNT C4, a bundled C4, lava bomb, or nuclear explosive. Okay, and the direction you're facing. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Um,. And then, okay, here's some other cool things. So we got, um, oh, and here we have a cocktail. Here we have a water bomb. And those are all the missiles, by the way. We got a missile. We got a lava missile, nuclear missile. We got an explosive fragment missile. And we got an anti-ballistic missile. So that the anti-ballistic missile basically protects you. Let's go ahead and see if we can change. Okay, we don't have permission to change, change the time. Okay. Um, but anyways, here is what the flares do. Basically, they're just going to shoot up these really bright and awesome lights, which are actually pretty cool. And they look pretty nice at night. So, yeah. 
Um, here are the bombs. As you can see, we're just gonna throw it, and it's gonna leave a little explosives. I think this is like um, normal TNT, I guess you could say. And then here is the cocktail. When we throw that, it's gonna light everything on fire. So let's go ahead and start destroying this world by lighting stuff on fire. I think that would be a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and open this world to land, so I can do that. Um, let me go times uh, 100. Okay, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and start destroying this world a little bit by throwing cocktails all around and lighting stuff on fire. Oh, baby. Okay. Might as well start by lighting all the trees on fire. Okay. And then the water bomb here, obviously, we're going to throw it. And if we want to put out the fire, we can just throw it down there. And it's going to, um, yeah, okay, there we go. As you can see, it's just going to light everything on fire. So if you need to, like, put out some fires or something, you can obviously use those. And by the way, if you're running, I'm not going to tell you how to craft all these because this will be a really long mod review. If you want to know how to craft all these, like I said, you can just use a simple book. So, for example, we j I just showed you the water bomb. So if we were to go right here to the water bomb, that's how you craft it. As you can see, paper and water, and that gives you six of them. So I'm not going to show you how to craft them. Otherwise, this would be an extremely long mod review, and I don't want this mod review to go on for, like, 20 minutes because no one watched, wants to watch a mod review. It's like 20 minutes. Believe me. Okay, so next, um, I guess we could go over to our C4 and all that stuff. So basically, we have C4 right here. And then also, you can use these things where you can have a detonant cord, you can have a fuse, you can have a blasting cap. But we're just going to use the cord. So we can go ahead and put this cord. You can make it however long you want, whatever ways you want, blah, blah, blah. And then if we put a fuse at the end... And then we can grab a lighter. And now I'm pretty sure, or flint and steel. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do this, but this is just the way I like to do it. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it just blew everything up. Did that really blow up the, whatever you call it, the bedrock? or what? Oh, wait, there wasn't bedrock there. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, so that's C4. And then also they have, that's the C4 explosives. And they also have nuke. You have a time bomb, you have a bundled C4, which I'm assuming is just more C4 just bundled up. You have lava bomb, you have tunneling explosives. I'm not sure what that does yet, but we'll figure it out. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll save the nuclear explosive one for last because obviously that one's going to be the best one. So let's go ahead and go into the time bomb. So if we go into the time bomb, obviously it's going to be a bomb that's timed. And to get into it, you're going to right click. As you can see, you have 10 seconds, 30 seconds, minute, and it goes all the way up to 30 minutes so if you select one of these as you can see it says time till detonation and if you hit escape you can obviously get out of it and go away and just wait for it to detonate it or you can just watch it detonate but we're gonna just go away and just watch it there you go as you can see it blowed up and yeah it was a pretty big explosive those things do give pretty big explosives so what's next um bundled c4 that's basically just like normal c4 um lava bomb okay so here we go i'm just gonna use flint and steel like this because it's easier and as you can see, we're just going to light it, and it's obviously going to give us, wait for it, a lot of lava, obviously. <laughs> I mean, what else would it give us? It's a lava bomb. What do you expect from it? Okay, so let's go ahead and throw that down. And now what I've been waiting for, actually, this is, you can use these diffusers to obviously diffuse bombs. Now, if you want to know how to use them, or if you're not if you're not completely sure how, on how to use them, um, I believe this is just a diffuser. So if I'm correct this thing just diffuses things this little stick thing so if i hit it does it diffuse or oh wait no or do we need one of these maybe we need a detonate cord and fuse okay so what if we make this and then we light it no or just that okay what does this do okay let's figure it out let's pull up our wonderful book let's figure this out okay so where's the stick okay there's a little stick diffuser it can be used to diffuse most active explosives by right clicking them um okay but it didn't work okay why didn't it work though um most active diffused what does that mean i'm kind of confused on that um what if we try something more simple like this does that work okay uh, i have no idea why it's not working but yeah it says it says you right click it and it's supposed to diffuse but it's not doing it so oh well <laughs> i mean i don't know um, next, what is this? This is the tunneling explosive. Okay, so let's see what this does. I'm assuming this thing is going to shoot out. That's what I'm assuming it does because it's obviously going to tunnel. Okay, yeah, so it's always obviously going to give you like a tunnel of stuff. So if we set it right here, it's obviously going to give us, I, I'm assuming, a tunnel, I guess, right? Yeah, there you go. As you can see, that's actually really useful. I actually like those. And then to craft those, like I said, you can just go into this helpful book 
or you can look up on the Minecraft form page and figure it out. So you're going to need like a whole bunch of C4 and whatever those things are. I'm not sure. What are those? What are those things? Um, was that these? I'm not sure what that was. Okay, yeah, I think it was those. I think it was those detonator cords. Okay, but anyways, to what I've been waiting for, I'm sorry, I cannot wait. Oh, wait, also we have some more things. Okay, so we have an anti-personal mine, which is, I'm assuming it doesn't work for you. Okay, maybe it does. Okay, I don't, I, I'm, oh my gosh. Okay, that's what the anti-personal mine does. Okay, oh, I see. So basically, it's like kind of like shrapnel. So it basically shoots flying arrows everywhere holy crap that is crazy okay so let's see what would happen if we were to do it like next to this tree okay so look at this watch how many arrows fly up okay <laughs> holy crap that is crazy okay then we have the normal and there's even arrows all the way over here okay so here we have the normal landmine so i'm just gonna set a few of these out I'm just gonna have some fun with them i'm just gonna have fun with this mod guys obviously okay so that obviously blew up all of them so obviously there's just landmines if you step on them they obviously blow up that's obviously what they do i mean there's landmines not much more to explain okay the next what is next okay basically what i've been waiting for the most powerful bomb and this is what we're going to use to blow this place up so um, oh, and also there's like a little radar. There's some also cool add-ons add -ons, add -ons that he's included. So here's like a little radar. I'm assuming it detects like explosives. I'm not really sure because obviously this is explosives mod. So um, I'm assuming it detects explosives. So one thing I wanted to find out is does the nuclear explosive destroy obsidian? That's what I really want to know because no TNT destroys obsidian. But does the nuclear one do it? So we're about to find out. And we're lagging. We're lagging like crap. Holy crap. I'm not sure if y'all can hear. Oh my god. Holy crap. It definitely destroys obsidian. Oh my god. Look at this. I am absolutely speechless. Holy crap. What if we put like one of these things like up here? Oh my god god let's put one of these on the top like at the very top of this thing okay let's see what this can do holy crap okay we're, we might pick up a little bit lag again but I'm, I'm pretty sure we will so let's put it at the very tippy top and let's go all the way up here holy crap so if we pick up lag then no worries i'm, I'm hoping um it won't crash but as you can see you can see it right there and let's see what this does Okay, so where's the lag? Okay, there's a lag. There's a lag. I do not know if y'all can still hear my voices. I'm assuming my voice is fine, but... Okay, come on. Come on, what's going on? Okay, last time I didn't lag this much. Maybe it's, maybe it's because it's destroying more blocks. Holy crap. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Is Minecraft going to crash on me or no? Okay, um... Should we just wait for it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm assuming I, I just I just want to wait for it to like pop up. I don't know. I don't, I think it might crash. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, there we go. There we go. Holy crap! Oh my gosh, this whole place is gone. Holy crap! I'm picking up lag just flying down here. Okay, okay, let it render out a little bit. Oh my god, it destroyed this whole entire place, all the way down to here. But it didn't destroy this giant ball. But it destroyed almost everything. Oh my god. That is crazy. Holy crap. What's down here? Okay, so let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like messing with the nuke anymore. That's creating way too much lag. That is freaking crazy. Okay, so what else? Um... We already went over the missiles. All the missiles do the same thing. They're just different missiles. Like one's lava, one's nuclear. And yeah, I don't want to launch the nuclear missile. But um, what are those squids doing? What are you doing, squids? You got blown up by a nuclear missile. I, I feel really bad for y'all. I feel really, really bad for y'all. Okay, what's next? I mean, we basically went over everything. I don't think there's anything else to cover. Is there any... I don't think there's any new blocks. No, nope, 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 nope. That's about it. Oh, and also these things, uh, these are just a craft. Th m mainly all these things are used for crafting the bombs, if you're wondering. And if you want to know how to craft those, like I said, 
you can just go into okay not that book not that bad book um, the instruction book so for example if we want to learn how to craft one of these balls that we just saw which is kind of weird we're gonna use all of that obsidian blah 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 and then that that is obviously going to use to craft something else so yeah everything is used to craft something even the nukes i don't wait no i don't think the nukes are used to craft something but for example like the c4 might be used to craft like part of the nuke actually wait what 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 do you use to craft a nuke okay yeah so it's cnt and then it's the rods okay but that's gonna be about it for this mod review hopefully you enjoyed i definitely enjoyed doing this mod review main main reason that i did it is because i really wanted to I, I don't know i just thought it was a really epic and crazy mod and we blew up like this whole freaking building and this building was absolutely huge and yeah so that's gonna be about it for this mod review hopefully you all enjoyed if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to download it of course the download link will be in the description and if i set this off i think uh, wait, 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 where am i where what the heck what the heck oh wow, wow i'm like inside the bomb okay but um if we set this off our minecraft would probably never open again so if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys later peace